Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. Uh, where we last left off, we were about to go fight Plant 42. Now, I don't know what to take with us, to be honest with you. Um, I'm thinking a herb, well, maybe two, and the bazooka with some flame rounds. Now, one problem, one of the fuck factors that we have is you can't swap out ammo in this game. You can't unload the grenade launcher, which is really, really, really annoying. Um, I don't know why. Uh, you have to really commit to the type of enemies that you're about to fight. So, let's roll the grenade launcher for the plant. Although I'm kind of tempted to just try the shotgun and see how we go. I know... Um, the handgun, as I said in the previous video, was actually really good against the plant. The handgun was a really solid option. This, I'm not sure. I've never fought the plant with a shotgun. I don't think. I think I did on the remake. I'm pretty sure I did on the remake. But this is not the remake. This is the balls to the wall. Real deal. So, let's have a little look at our cabbage friend, shall we? I kind of want to keep the grenade launcher for the hunters. But I also want to keep the grenade launcher for the tyrant. I guess we're just going to have to see what happens. Right. Now, it does... Yeah, he's moving his tentacles pretty quickly. Oh, you can't. He's a lot faster at spilling his um, juices on Jill. Right, there you go. So we're going to fire a shot and move. Wait for him to spill his juice. Come on. There we go. And then fire. He's actually a really freaking easy boss. Come on. Spill your juice. There you go. Good man plant thing. Let's give him a, one of these. Just give him one or two. Just a taste. Just give him a little taste. Okay, he actually hit us there. Now, he can actually poison us, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Ooh. Okay. So, the grenade launcher isn't just, like, a guaranteed hit. So... Oh, I mean, he really didn't take many hits. Huh. Okay, but he's not boiling away like he should. Oh. That's the control room key. How interesting. All right. And he is dead. I thought he would actually start to boil away. Very, very interesting. Okay, so that was different. Right, well, fair play. Let's get out of here now. And jiggle our junk around. Because we don't need the grenade launcher for now. Or do we? Nope. I'm going to jiggle our junk around because if we're going to go to the control room there is that uh, ammo storage room that we can go to. And that should, well it used to have two handgun magazines and two boxes of shotgun shells. And we're going to need those shotgun shells. 
You better believe we're going to need those shotgun shells. So let's... I mean, I'm surprised we didn't get, like, hurt. I really am. Uh, we don't need those. Is it time to retire the... Maybe. Maybe it's time to retire the Beretta. At least until we get to the lab. Because we're only going to have hunters really to fight at the moment. And hunters... Hunters demand your top firepower. Anything less is an insult to a hunter. So I think that's where the majority of our grenades are going to go. Let's go back to the aqua ring. Now we have the correct key anyway. And I have just been informed that apparently GTA 5 Premium Edition is free on Epic Games Store right now at the timing of this video, which is pretty fucking cool. That's quite a juicy game to get for free. Okay, so let's go and meet Neptune. I'm really spun out by that because that's where we would get the mansion key. Which obviously hasn't happened because we do not have a mansion key. We got the control room key. That's interesting. Quite the fuck factor. So let's go this way. Where the devil is Neptune? Oh! There he is! Did we not get a cutscene introducing us to him? Okay. I think... Oh my god, he hurts. Oh my god. Danger. Straight onto danger. Oh, that's savage. What a bastard. I'm going to enjoy this. I wonder when <laughs> Neptune could fit in that tank. Neptune was a lot more interesting in the remake. He really was. I'm not even going to put him out of his misery for that. I'm just going to leave him the flop. I can't believe the cheap little hit he got me, you little fucking bastard. Ugh. If you had testicles, I would bestow my foot down on them so hard. Ugh. Right. Nothing special. Okay. So let's go to the armory next door. Or the storage room, I guess. And I'm guessing that's where the key's going to be. I can't believe that. I, You know, part of me thought it was going to be an instant kill. But... Jeebus. There's the two magazines. So we've got radioactive material here. Oh, handgun magazines. Oh, handgun magazines. <laughs> yes, come to mama. Come to mama. Nice. Yeah, I don't. I don't ever remember being bitten. Yeah, and that's got to be the mansion key. Yes, yes, it is. And these are, are, these are wet and useless. Not these. Not these. These are dry and, and, and ready to fry hunters, I hope. So that gives us 46. So we've got 53 shotgun cartridges. Oof. 53 shotgun cartridges. Ooh, Jill. Jill's feeling pretty... Oh, actually, there's one thing I want to try. Jill's feeling pretty good for herself right now. Now, there is a bag through here. And in the original, it says... Uh, in the normal mode, it says there's nothing in this bag. It's, there's a bag here. Nothing useful inside. Bugger. I did wonder, is there anything in that box in the corner? No. Nope, that's a bastard. Well, we're soaking wet. We're juicy. It's so weird that you kill the plant before coming into this aqua ring. That's that's really spicy. 
Ah, oh, Neptune. What's the matter, buddy? You got no water to splash around in. You did take a good chunk out of Jill, to be fair. I mean, look at Neptune. He's actually really small in this one. I don't know what the other two are called. Uh, in the remake, he's beastly. So cool. Yeah, we, we're going to need to heal ourselves because this is the turning point. This is where the game gets real. It takes the dummy off. It takes the dummy out of its mouth. And it gets some hair on its nuts. And it's about to lay the smack down on us. Because this is where we meet hunters. Now, hunters in the remake... Oof. They don't fuck around. Wesker. Spiders? Jill. So you're safe. She should say that's what I was about. Why is the sound not playing? Um, game? I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. <laughs> yes, you're right. Escaping is a good now, idea. There are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. No, they're there isn't. Around for clues. Maybe my disc is dodgy. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Right, okay, so we've got to go back to the other room in the mansion to look for clues. Even though I don't know why there's a spider here. It's usually moths, not moths, um, hornets. That was really interesting. I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't know why we've got to go back to the other mansion. Like, you know, apparently these doors must be locked, bolted, and just chained and welded shut. Because, now, if our lives depended on it, a normal door like this wouldn't be that hard to kick down. I'm just saying. Now, what I am going to do, call me a pussy. I'm going to eat a mixed herb. Neck that fucker. And... Uh... Acid rounds. Bazooka. Do I want to save it? Yeah. We're going to save it before we go back. Definitely seems like a reasonable thing to do. Because we don't want to get fucked. And as I said, this game will fuck us. Right, cool. Now, let's stick the ink ribbons back and take the grenade launcher. Oh, I actually thought we were running out of ink ribbons. Still got 12 saves left. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine considering there's still more ink ribbons to find. Okay. Now, I don't know how effective grenade ammo is going to be on him. But I do know Acid rounds uh, are very good. I think grenade rounds are good as well, but I really, really do not want to waste those, can we? 
Now we've used some. No, you can't. That's such a ball ache. I'm glad in Resident Evil 2 they changed it so you could swap out ammo whenever you wanted because it just it doesn't make sense. Oh, okay. This is Brad. I know you can't answer me. But somehow, give me a sign. This is Jill. Brad? Oh, it's broken. Either that or Brad's just pretending not to hear us. You know, could be. So let's take our bazooka. <laughs> I love the way it's called a bazooka. Ooh. Ooh. Almost forgot about these suckers. Don't mind if I do. They might actually just come in useful. Totally forgot about these bad boys. Yes. Do we want the blue hurt? I mean, I, we got the space for them. We might as well. No point leaving them for the roaches. And that, like, background sound effect with the dog, like, barking his ass off is really strange. Like, it's really haunting, but... At least I remember it being haunting as a kid. But being an adult, it's not that haunting. It just sounds like a simple sound effect on repeat. I think it's repeating too often. Yeah, if there's more of a delay on it, it would be better, I think. And it's nearly 8 o'clock already. Holy nuts. Oh, right, let's go. I think I'm going to wrap this recording up after this video. Oh, I might do one more. I'm going to go tidy up. And then I've got to stay awake until 10, which is a bit dangerous on a work day. Go walk the missus home from work. And then go to bed. Ooh, more dogs. There's... Wait. What? No. No. No, no, no. 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 Ah. Wait. There's dogs? There shouldn't be dogs there. Why were there dogs there? There's not meant to be dogs there. Ah. Why was... Son of a bitch. There's going to be fucking dogs out here, too. No, well, that's okay. No, but there's going to be something worse. Son of a bitch. Eat one of those, I guess. Now, we're not on max health. Oh, here it comes. Man, I shit in my pants when I was a kid and I first saw this. Look at it. Oh, look at it. It knows where it's going. It knows what it wants. Oof. Hello, you beautiful bastard. How does that feel? Wait. Two? You greedy son of a bitch. Well, we blew him into next week, so there's that. Oh, my God. These things are going to be a dick. Oh, I can already feel the, the hatred for these things again. Right, well, I mean, we can use this again. There's a light switch here we can turn on. There should be some magnum ammo in here, I believe. Well, there's a Mo disc. We need those Mo discs if we want to get the good ending. No Magnum ammo? Really? Game, you're breaking my balls here. Ah, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Right, Mo disc. So we've got a Mo disc. And. Got some magnum ammo. That was it though. Okay, it's not a lot. 
Now, hunters. Oh, hunters. Hunters, hunters, hunters. Okay. Guessing there's hunters in here. Yep. Ooh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh. And there it is. There it is. The one hit decap attack. Oh. Son of a bitch. Oh my god. They're going to be something, aren't they? I'm almost tempted, you know, to waste off those last two explosive rounds. Just so I can fill, uh, just so I can load up some acid rounds. Oh, I'm glad I saved it. I did save it, didn't I? Did I save it? Did I? I mean, I'm sure I saved it. Yeah, we saved it. Okay, it's fine. Right, um, hmm. <sighs> Fucking bastard. See that? Woof. Decap attack, motherfucker. This is where the game decides to repeatedly kick us in the balls. Or I guess the ovaries, as as it would be. Um... <sighs> Right. Well. Ooh, that was savage. I'm trying to think now. Do I want... Do I want... Do we want the shotgun? I'm thinking the shotgun's a really good idea. But I'm also thinking maybe it's not as much of a good idea as I am telling myself that it is. We have so many shotgun shells though. All right, let's roll with that. Fuck it, let's go. Let's go. Well, Jill, this is, uh, it's been an honor. Um, your service has been appreciated. You're gonna go down in history as a hero. Yes, all right, Brad. Uh, we'll go on. I think you have to listen to this. I'm not 100% sure. Brad. Uh, Brad? Brad? This is Jill. Brad? Oh, it's broken. Yes, it's broken. It did. It was in the possession of someone that was horribly mutilated by a demon. I'm just saying, Jill, you know, when when you think about it like that. Now, those doggos, they're going to get a fucking taste of some blasting action. I can't believe there's dogs there. Why are there dogs there? Why would you put dogs there? I mean, wh like, what serve? Wh why? You're about to get fucked up the ass uh, with no lube by the hunters and they just sprinkle some fucking dogs on you just, just for shits and giggles just be because they can um, it's a dirty move Capcom real dirty I, ho I hope you're proud of yourselves I really do I really hope you're proud of yourselves Capcom 
Because that's dirty. Dirty, dirty bastards. Right, anyway. Once more we're feeling. I mean, I don't have to worry. It's not my head that's coming off. At least not today. But Jill. I do feel for Jill. Jill, this is not going to be pleasant. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know. Being decapitated, uh, you would assume, would be a quick way to die. However, there is that whole rule that you can still see for like, I don't know, seven seconds or some bullshit like that, which that would be horrifying, wouldn't it? Especially if you're fully aware of what's happening. Ugh. All right, let's go put down some pooches. Right, we can't hit them because she's not aiming at them. Still can't hit them because she's not aiming at them. Right. Right, done. Come to Mama. You bastard. Oof. They like the shotgun. Wow. Is it me? Or is the shotgun not as good as it once was? Oof. Second, what's going on now? Uh... Okay, random. Right, okay. Yeah, my phone's going a bit nutty at the moment. I need to try and keep an eye on my phone at the moment because uh, obviously the missus started a new job today and I told her to text me if she needs me right um well it's not a new job it's the same job it's just she's moved into a different career should we say she is now a carer a health worker right let's do this come on you big fucking green bastard I'm going to stick this down your throat. These pellets are going to come out of your ass. Ooh. Whoa. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Whoa. Swallow that hot load. You're not dead? The hell's the matter with you? All these things are greedy. Oh, you greedy bitch. Well, you're dead now. All right, Jill. This is the problem room. We're just going to go... Free and easy with the shotgun through here. There we go. There we go. That's good. Reload. Keep it going. One down. Right. Not impressed with the shotgun. Not impressed with the shotgun at all. I'll put some bullets in the back room. Use them in case of trouble. Barry, thanks, Barry. But, yes, in case of trouble. I think we have trouble, Barry. Have you noticed the big, ugly bastards running around? We're going to be going through these shotgun shells like nothing. Holy shit, look at that. <sighs> Down to 39 cartridges. Uh, that's not good. Okay. Um, 
shit. Should we keep, like, blue herbs on us? I mean, it kind of seems like a, not a terrible idea. Or some mixed herbs on us, I should say. Uh, Jesus. Well, before we call it a day, let's grab all this stuff up. We're really going to run out of shotgun shells, aren't we? I don't know if the shotgun uh, damage falls off over range. I have no idea. Maybe it does. Uh, I, I thought I did read somewhere that it's a hit scan weapon. I could be totally wrong with that. Acid. Where's acid? Acid rounds. I mean, we've got a lot of acid rounds, to be honest. Let's... Let's put the shotgun back. For now. The shotgun is just... It's not effective against these... I'm feeling like we're just wasting it. Honestly. Uh, and I don't want to waste the shotgun. We will take that. And where's the, where did I put the Beretta? We will take the Beretta because there are zombies around. There it is. And we really don't want to be wasting any anything good on zombies. Like, we really do not want to be wasting anything good on zombies. Well, I mean, thanks for the seven cartridges and the acid rounds, Barry. I don't know where you keep finding this stuff. On the first aid spray as well. I mean, that was pretty good of you. Uh, right. So we use the mansion key. I mean, we've got to go fight Yawn now. Which I'm not feeling brilliant about. Uh, okay, well, I guess we just straight up can't see anything. There's the switch. There's the magnum rounds. Maybe we'll use a shotgun on Yawn. Maybe. Um, not sure. Um, I'm trying to think of all the rooms with hunters in. <laughs> most of them, really. Yeah, most of them. Okay. Um, right, well, I'm going to have to wrap this video up because we're on, like, 35 minutes so that hurt that really hurt hunters are actually quite fearsome and I think there are some some rooms uh, in this game where there is multiple hunters and I mean as in like three of them how many magnum rounds do we have? Six. Wait. Is that all the magnum ammo we have? No. I'm sure we had more magnum ammo. Shit, son. That's... That's not good. That's not good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Do I risk it for a biscuit? Before we save it, do we go sort out the hunters above us? Oof. 
Let's do it. I know there's at least two hunters up here. I know there is. This is going to be... There's one right... How do we get to him without him getting a free hit on us? Okay, so he's on his own. Ow. Okay. Oh my god. Do we risk this one? I guess we do. Oof. <laughs> you love to see it, guys. It 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 was fate. It was written in the stars. It had to happen. Well, I mean, I guess when we come back, I'll get us back to where we were. Uh, and then... Profit? I guess. I mean, it was fun to see how hard those hunters are. We have discovered that they are hard. Hard hunters are hard. So, thanks for watching, guys. As always, till next time. <laughs>